Dell's gaming notebooks are silently one of the better ones on the market. Here we have the G155520, an Alder Lake H equipped powerhouse, which also comes with high TGP graphics from Nvidia and high refresh rate displays. From the outside, the laptop can definitely be identified as a gaming one, with red G letter on the right side and an aggressive lid and backside. The whole laptop is black, which gives it a stealthy appearance. The G15 uses plastic for its entire chassis, along with reinforcements on the inside for extra durability. This makes the notebook a bit heavier, as it weighs between 2.52 and 2.67 kilograms, while the profile is quite chunky as well, at 26.9 millimeters. Durability is good, as the base is really solid, while the lid flexes a tiny bit. Thankfully, it opens with one hand, revealing the base, with a large grille on top, a keyboard, and a touchpad. The board looks like the units that we see on Dell's office devices, which doesn't bode well for gaming. Despite the 4-zone RGB backlight, the key travel is average, despite the vertical space that's available. The touchpad is small but fairly accurate. However, the cover that it uses isn't the most pleasant to work with. The input-output is different depending on your GPU selection. The RTX 3060 equipped models come with a Thunderbolt 4 port, while the others have a standard 10 gigabit USB Type-C port that's on the back. The rest of the backside houses a full-sized 5 gigabit USB port, an HDMI 2.1 port, and a power plug. On the left, there is a LAN port and an audio jack. Lastly, on the right, there are two more full-sized 5 gigabit USB ports. There are three display options, with two FHD panels with either a 120Hz or a 165Hz refresh rate, along with a QHD 240Hz display, all with IPS panels. We've chosen the first display, which is fine for gaming, but lacks sufficient color coverage to be used for design work. For that, you can pick any of the other two displays. Still it doesn't use PWM which is good for your eyes, plus it can get better with our display profiles. You can get them from the link in the description. The Dell G155520 comes with a 56 watt hours battery pack which lasts for 6 hours and 17 minutes of web browsing, or 5 hours and 44 minutes of video playback, which isn't ideal, but you still would be able to get some work done without a charger. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. These results are with the Core i7-12700H and a 95W RTX 3050 Ti, which perform quite well. The CPU outperforms its 11th generation counterpart while putting to shame the Ryzen 7 6800H as well. This is both in 3D rendering with Cinebench 20 and 2D rendering with Photoshop. The RTX 3050 Ti shows decent performance, scoring similarly to last year's G15, as GPUs didn't really change since last year. In games, the 3050 Ti is able to max out a lot of games, running them at pretty much playable frame rates. In esports titles, you'll reach 120 FPS plus with no problems, so you can take advantage of the 120 Hz display. Even Apex Legends, which is slightly more demanding, runs at 123 FPS average at the max preset. If you want to see more games tested on the RTX 3050 Ti, we have a whole playlist over on our Laptop Media Benchmarks channel, which tests all the popular GPUs inside many games so that you can get an accurate performance assessment. Cooling the laptop is left to a pretty good setup. It has four heat pipes, two fans, and two large heat sinks. It takes good care of the Core i7-12700H, maintaining a TDP of 89 watts in the long run, 
while the clock speeds are good as well. As for the RTX 3050 Ti, it's one of the better performing units that we've seen, maintaining a 90 watts TGP, along with a consistent speed of 1.8 GHz. Lastly, comfort is very good, for a gaming device. The fans do generate a fair bit of noise, while the base is cool even under heavy load, as the hot elements are moved to the back. With this, the keyboard has a hotspot of only 38 degrees Celsius. The Dell G15 has two RAM slots, only one M.2 slot for storage, that fit DDR5 modules and generation for SSDs respectively. We'll have a link to our teardown video in the description below. With a fairly big keyboard and touchpad mishap, the Dell G15 5520 still remains a viable option for gamers, providing excellent performance, through good cooling and high wattage components. Thanks to its low price, it can challenge the IdeaPad Gaming 3s and Victus 15s and 16s of the world, making it an excellent, if not a better alternative. For a more in-depth look, we have a written review on our website, which covers the G15 from head to toe, with more tests and insights.